Hello and welcome to channel UTM. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel and uh, today we are going to be looking at an Apollo 8 photo, um, 1968. Um, firstly, uh, I just want to state that um, with the images that we are looking at, um, you need to give yourself time to adjust to the images because basically we're looking at um, uh, re-edited edited photographs so uh, the clarity is not going to be brilliant uh, there's a lot of blurring there's a lot of um, bleaching out and darkening of, of the, uh, the photographs so you are not necessarily going to immediately see what um, I've been researching. Um, these are pretty good images. Um, and uh, if you can't get your head around it and you're interested enough, then simply follow the instructions of the, the, uh, the channel and you can find this stuff out for yourself. It's that simple, basically. So, a few bits and bobs. Um, okay, the, where are we? This is the image we're going to be looking at. Um, SA58121256. Hopefully that is the, uh, that is the one. And I got this from, I think it was a March to the Moon site. Um, there's also, there, there's a few sites. There's, they're all over the place. Um, there's thousands of images to look at. So, um, enjoy looking for stuff as well, you know, it's part of the research. So, um, let's, um, a few more bits and bobs I like showing. This is the, the logo badge, this is Borman Lovell and Anders, they're, they're the guys that are in the, um, the, uh, capsule thing. Didn't land, it's just taken photographs, I think it went around about six eight times something like that so um and uh and in uh, on the channel um i try and look into the makeup of the the images and what how they've done the edit editing uh, what they've taken the pictures with you know and and just trying to um understand more how the images have been edited so we can understand them more um it's very interesting stuff so uh don't run away um this is uh one of the cameras um with its housing on and this is one of the cameras without its covers on um so pretty interesting um these are they're Swiss made, um, so, and also I'm presuming that the the testing that they did and stuff is so they can, uh, well, you wouldn't send anything to space and not um, get the photographs you desired, and uh, we'll, we'll have a look, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. That's another, a little bit of artwork, something different. Okay, so imaging question what I've done I flipped this um, 90 degrees um, just looks better the other way up sort of thing so uh, yeah that is the right number you can see it's at the top there so hold on I'm just gonna Ooh, there we go okay so when when these images come in for those of you who are um, trying this yourself I think you get three or four options and they come in as PNGs and they're quite large and the the um, DPI is around about 200 so so watch out they grow in file size very very quickly um, so you're best off going for the smaller one and bumping it up yourself because um, I've had to backtrack and resize things so um, I can get into the image which which is a uh, explained in all the uh well not all of them but most of the uh the videos and the tutorials um so yeah if you're interested then uh, go for it um you will be amazed so we'll have a quick 
look at this this is obviously it flipped and it's had some contrast put in it so immediately you can start seeing this is this is getting closer to what the cameras were able to take um this is just pants you know what i mean you, you wouldn't you wouldn't send anything to space to get crap photographs um they're not stupid so right what were we doing okay we're looking at this one um so if i can show you anything uh immediately this is quite um i don't have any information on the altitude or anything but it's pretty it's pretty high up um and There are things to look at, but they just look like, um, you know, scratches and stuff and things. But, you know, they're the things you've got to look for. Uh, as I will show you in a minute. So if there's anything that I can point out immediately in the image, uh, you wouldn't. Something there. I mean, there are areas you get used to this. Um, this research um, there are certain you know areas of craters and things there's always a lot happening uh, this I noticed this um, which you could simply just put down to like a scratch on the uh, on the uh, the uh, film cell various things like that which you know immediately wouldn't wouldn't mean diddly to to anyone there's that as well i haven't actually had a look at that so we'll have a look at that in the the picture and what i do do in these um videos is i this is why the run times um quite a lot because uh i show you the research that i do and what that allows your brain to do is adjust to the the quality that we're looking at because uh, none of us are uh, um, set up to look at these um, poor quality images as it will be so it's a case of what I, what I will say um, because these moon ones that I'm doing aren't going to be as long as the the other ones I mean they're as long as they are you know it's uh, it's one of those things um, but if you're interested enough you know an hour plus video goes in minutes so there we go right what, what was I saying um, yeah so pause and um, just take the image in and see what you can find and then take it from there I'll, I'll demonstrate in a minute so oh okay so as you can see what I've I've colorized it a little bit um, and the nature of the tools that I use um, they do saturate the colors so it's a, it's a case of, of when I'm pushing and pulling basically darkening or lightening um, the the colors will change which is not, not a bad thing in these and they look quite nice so um, so this is yeah this is uh, I had to resize this um, and then blow it up again because I downloaded the medium size images and they're actually coming in quite big and my computer can't handle it. It's something I explained in the other videos. So if you've got a super computer, you're laughing. Okay, so let's... Now this area I haven't done anything to, well, apart from the pre... Um, contrast and uh, the burning which uh, we do on the mid ranges and I tend to leave shadows to the end this is your range here uh, and it simply just works on um, the pixel tone okay so for those of you who are new to this this might be a little bit confusing um, but if we refer to this image and we'll just flip it up 
so you can sort of get an idea of what's going on. So this is the same crater of sorts. Um, now it would be a case of pausing and just having a look and see what you can find. Now these areas are very difficult. I've had to darken darken this right out. They are so bleached out. I'm not really going to get anything out of these. Um, but the or maybe this one is better to look at actually. If we look at this one and oh hello, he popped up the other day. I'll just do this so you can get um, more of an idea. So basically, we're not we're just seeing fuzz and uh, some bits and bobs, which, which won't make any sense to anyone, especially if you're if you're just using a simple sort of Windows view or anything like that. It's um, it's it's no good for investigating. Um, so if we go back to this, you can see it's the same the same area. Um, and this will be hard to the to the untrained eye, but um, the familiarities that we're seeing across the solar system are incredible. Um, the way these structures and things are are laid out, um, and the the um, familiar shapes and stuff is just uh, quite quite incredible, really. Um, so if there's some bits I can point out in here. And don't get me wrong, I mean, it's like when I don't look at these images for a while, when I go back to them, it takes me a good few minutes to readjust to the images. And this is what is worrying me a little bit. Um, people aren't going to see anything straight away and uh, they'll just pass it by as, you know, is on acid or or something like that but there are shapes here um, which don't make any sense and they're all over the place it's not a case of pixelation or, or, or pixel anomalies or compression or anything like that I can show you this is where it pixelates so you can see this is this actually part of the whole the whole picture um, And if it was, if it was that, then the whole picture would be completely wrong. There'd be something wrong with their systems um, and they need to go back to the drawing board. But that's not the case. So we all know what the moon is supposed to be like, how we've been taught about it. And, uh, and the thing is with this research as well it's not you know if you've clicked on this for the first time it's not um, a anomaly in the middle of a, a grey plane um, which people can debate for years and years and years um, the moon is completely covered in hundreds if not thousands of structures and uh, I can say that because I've been doing this for quite a while and there are other sites that can say that um, and uh, you, you know we just made a mockery of and it's uh, not that I've got to that stage yet because I've only got like a few subscribers um, so I'll leave that because like I said it, it's quite a difficult difficult one to uh, to decipher um, so we'll go and have a look around there's various places I've done on this I haven't got the time to do the whole image it would take uh, weeks to do as is 
with the same as most of the other images that um, I look at. I mean, the the extent of these uh, structures is uh, phenomenal. But you can see the quality is pretty low on this. Um, but you just have to focus on the image and once you uh, get used to the, the um, there's, a, there's an angle of um, inclination, I think they call it, which is, you know, the angle to the moon surface that the photograph was taken at. Um, so you get perspective on the, the structures you get shadow, you get light, you can see tops, um, the sides of, etc, etc. So, but it's something you, uh, you'll get used to. So, very unusual stuff. Okay, so I'm going to have to pan out quite a lot because I can't quite remember where where I've been. You can see these areas where I've worked on. Okay, there's something big here as well. Maybe we'll go back to that. Okay, let's, so let's go in there quick. This isn't fully finished, um, but these images are, and with the with the uh, the tools and the process that um, you can use, uh, you can literally start anywhere where you more or less can't see anything, and uh, slowly but surely you'll be able to pull these uh, very non moon like. Um, Um, anomalies, structures, but they're not anomalies anymore. It's uh, it's completely obvious where well, it is to me anyway, and to a lot of people. You get a lot of these light points everywhere, and um, I am presuming that they are. They are lights of some description. You know, everyone says, oh, they're craters and this, and it just doesn't work like that. The more you look at this stuff, the more you realize that, you know, this, uh, there's more to these uh, so-called craters than meets the eye. Right, I won't try not to get carried away because uh, it's very addictive doing this as well. But you can see the forms and the direction and the connections and the uh, the layering of this stuff um, appearing. And this is it. I mean, there's uh, there's no th this channel show you how to do this. It's it's I've got people doing it, um, and they're getting brilliant results. I hope they all are. I know one guy is. Um, see, the closer in I get, the more confusing you're probably going to find this. But like I say, pause, take it in. These just various areas, like I've explained before, I just literally fly around the image, um, pick a random area and start working um, at it and see what appears.
you know, anyone with a, you know, would uh, just go, well, that, that's, that's pixelation, but it's not pixelation as, as I've uh, explained. Uh, you can see the pixels, pixels anomalies are very uh, infrequent and they don't make structures and stuff and have three dimensions and shadows and things like that but it oh, like I say it's something you'll get used to So, not all the videos I've done are, are um, they're all different, and that's the thing, and that's the way you have to approach the, uh, the images you're working on. Um, so, some are going to be more blatant than others. Um, Like I say, it's just it's just a case of uh, getting used to this. Um, medium or or uh, way of looking at things. Um, so where are we? We're, we're there. Let's uh, see if I can find that area. It could be quite difficult. Yeah, I think we're we got that. We got that. Okay. So well with the with the low quality as well, it's absolutely impossible. To uh, to see anything, and uh, <clears throat> if that's the quality of the images that they uh, design these uh, cameras for, then uh, not very good. You understand. <clears throat> Apologies for people who are <clears throat> viewing this on um, phones. It's probably not the best um, way to look at it, um, you know, unless I go like this. But I'm not sure if you would or not. I must check it out. But you can see where this running down into and that's quite an interesting structure there and what we tend to find like these are all over the place as well is there'll be like small platform areas with towers or spires or domes on top of them And uh, they're so frequent, and we're talking everywhere as well. Not just the moon, but they're they're on everything that I've looked at.
I'm working on um, an image which is uh, a 1962 picture. Um, I've probably mentioned it already. It depends when I put the videos out because I'm trying to build up um, videos as I go along so it gives me time to to work on other stuff and this would have this area would have to be darkened down. In the earlier videos and the tutorials and stuff I talk about working in the dark areas <clears throat> because they can reveal a lot of uh, information, excuse me. <clears throat> and then the light areas, uh, the, the light areas are <clears throat> harder to work on. Um, And this stuff extends throughout the whole the whole image, um, and I can quite uh, quite easily promise you that. Okay, I might have to uh, zoom out again, see where we're at. Okay, so you can see the areas which I've, I've worked on. Um, this is another area um, revealing itself. Very unusual looking stuff, um, but very familiar. So you can see the design <coughs> appearing. It is blurred, yeah. But this is, you know, like I've explained, it's something you have to get used to. Um, Everything is explained. Um, and if you're having problems, then uh, just give us a shout. As always, you know. So when we pull out, you can make more sense of uh, what's going on. But that's how I work anyway. Um, 
Okay, let's... Uh... Okay, so that... Um... This, which looks like a, a scratch on the, on the film. Well, most people would put it down to that. So I had a look at the area um, itself. I still don't know what it is, but it is surrounded by more structures. And you can see the complexity of this appearing. Um, and you know, this is, seems to be all over the moon, front side, back side, wherever you want to look. Um, so I don't know what this is. like it could be uh, something sticking up here so is something I talk about just being careful with the lines and stuff but um, just for sort of demo purposes we'll forget about that because you want to try and keep the image as clean as possible um, because you want people to look at it and not get confused they're confusing enough I think before very long I'm going to, my um, graphics tablet is going to explode. And when you do see something and you go and have a look at it, it you know, 90% of the time it just turns into something completely not what you were expecting. Well, I don't know. I don't expect anything anymore. It's uh, everything is so crazy. So let's. Yeah, it's quite... When I put that shadowing, the details come out. This is what will take you a long time, because you can keep working on these images. What are we on? All right. And this is what um, a lot of people are missing. I understand, you know, time-wise and stuff. And... But the information you're missing, is uh, it's, it's all in there. So, if we zoom out. You can 
can see how it just starts extending and joining up with more and more stuff. Very complex. There's just no denying this. What you'll probably find you felt are you denying yourself and uh, if you are curious enough then simply do it yourself. That's crazy. So when you when you you just saw me do that, then you start looking at these other areas completely differently. I mean everywhere so you can once you've pulled something out then you can visually track where it possibly might be going and it's just through experience these are a very familiar site like these sort of travel Presuming there's some sort of a connecting um, travel systems of some description, and that's what you that's what you would uh, presume. But we can only we can only presume as much as uh, you know we know or we've been taught. You know, who is it? Is it us? Is it a breakaway civilization? Is it um, ET? You know, what, what's going on? What are they there? You know, who are we? Where do we fit into it? Why aren't we allowed to see this stuff? the qualities down on this area but if you search if you keep searching then you'll find you'll find some nuggets which uh, really stick out okay where haven't we looked where were we gonna look Something the untrained eye would probably go and look at is something like that because it just looks like a triangle. What's that?
Okay, so let's have a have a quick blast in here. Now to me, so you're you're now seeing something which you know no one is meant to see. There's no tricks, no nothing. Like I say, you can do this yourself. I'm not drawing. The, the tools do not do that. So that, to me, looks like it's sticking up. You see what I mean? There's the square area on top, and there's the, the body of it. Something else sticking up. And it's, it's just stuff you'll find everywhere. As I said, well, I am doing this very quickly. said it looked like it was sticking up that might not be the case which is certainly see how it's changed you know and it, this is like I was saying it's like um That's why I don't like to label stuff because it just puts a, a false image in your uh, in your mind. So let's uh, just quickly. You always have to turn shadows down, it's very strong, it comes in very strong normally. You see as soon as it hits a dark area. So what looked like a tower then, is now looking, well, I don't know. Sort of humongous. Thing going on.
And there you go. I didn't do any work on this um, purely because it was taking so much time on the other one as well and uh, just wanted to try and show you some stuff you can really relate to. So there you have it, Apollo 8, 1968. Um, and uh, some incredible things going on here. So, there you have it, um, incredible stuff, um, yeah, it just boggles the mind. Okay, brilliant, um, thanks for watching, hope you got something out of it, um, and any doubts just try it yourself it's it's all there for you um, the program the software gimp is uh free um if you've got a computer brilliant um well you must have if you're watching this um and the only thing you will have to get is a graphics tablet because uh you would uh you would struggle immensely using a mouse um but anyway, it's in, it's in the other videos and stuff, um, so check them out. Okay, guys, thank you again, and uh, see you soon.